Hello everybody, Force Mantis here. Today, finally, with my, I would say, longer project, but not too long because I did so much work on it, which I still believe I did, but I didn't have a time to do it sooner. So it takes me time and uh, some pain, I would say, but uh, I finished that reviewing. So if you remember the Ontario Camp 12, Camp 2, I believe 12, I'm 12 inches blade machete. So this one was that machete, but for someone who saw that, this one could look different because it is generally a different machete. What it stays there is this bird beak and the the edge. But as in, you might see by by uh, sorry my my at home video first, this one was completely dull, so the, the edge wasn't workable now. It's, it's, it has a secondary convex on it, so it works. By the way, I already shoot the, the video, I mean, in use, so you, you're gonna see it very soon. So I know how this one performs. And this video is about intro and my experience, what I did and how I did it, if you like it. So if you're interested, maybe you wanna, you wanna do something for yourself. You're, you're thinking now, or say, I'll, I'll try something to do this one. So generally, it's turned uh, into the tracker style machete, so T1 tracker and uh, tracker. Now, why we call it tracker? Mostly because this this hawk or tooth, I call it. Uh, I won't use this one now. Just to remind you, this one is 1095 and hardened for 52 to 55, so somewhere about 54 HRC, which is kind of soft, but not that, not that soft. Uh, I'll tell you just what I did and the, the reason why I did what I wanted. So firstly, I want to build some, some tracker style machete. Why? Because I like it, to be honest. Usually I, I carry, as I said many times, I usually carry some of my tracker knives with me, even I've got some, some another knives, so like the Warcraft Tanto, the Gurkha Kurri Plus, and these things. So I, I'm, I'm happy because I, I, I do have the, the, the trackers from the Bark River, the longest, to the T4, uh, Tops T4 tracker, the Mini, it's just like that. So, uh, and this one, now, if I say, okay, I'll need to take just like a chopper, something like that, uh, machete, I don't have to take this. It's not heavy. I mean, the T4 is really, I can put it into my pocket and I don't know it. I don't know. But, you know, now I, I got a machete which we can work with this. With this, use the, the hawk for the, the crews and, and feathers and these things. So I don't, I don't have to take the, the tracker if I don't need it. I mean, uh, it is specifically uh, this machete, and it is machete, so it's specifically used to be uh, to use to be used for more green stuff. So definitely not a tool for a winter, for me at least, or for really dry areas where the stuff you are chopping or cutting is too dry, simply too hard. This is a machete, so this is more for green stuff. And of course, you can chop and you can split something drier, but this is not definitely the best tool for it. If there will be a winter and I have to collect uh, some, let's say, four or five inches pieces, uh, uh, thick pieces of wood for heating and for whatever these things, so the T1 tracker is definitely a better option, much better option. And of course, not for that uh, machete stuff, but as we know, in the winter, we don't usually need these uh, to cut through some bush and bushes and these things because there is not so many of them and if they are so you can you can go more easy through because there are no leaves and we know it so machete as i said so what i left here is is this it is is this belly would say and this portion of that and this bird's beak even i removed that the plastic handle the plastic handle was was uh, covered this this hole here so this one was all one one piece of the plastic sheet somebody who removed the handle scales the original said there they were three rivets and he said oh, I, I i opened that so removed them and i could use them again so so it was easy not for me 
uh, I I uh, I was lucky to to like in this this reusable style of removing used for one of them only and uh, for the rest two I destroyed them simply so I couldn't uh, I couldn't use them again anyway it wasn't the plan the plan was to buy these G10 handles this this is G10 I th these were blocks of G10 by the way uh, black or green and that stuff you might see it you might see it here and here it's, it's a bit sharp but I don't want to <laughs> cut it that much by the way I don't have a sheet for it made for it now but that's the the least thing uh, which is yeah, like uh, which is a pain uh, for me because that's that's very easy to do it for me if, when I did this one so I I, I Thought I do I do I remove it this or not? Then I just I decided so because one one from the the thinking about that was just use this line and simply cut this one off and, and so so this part will be the end of the handle. But then I say okay why not? Because if there is no problem I I can lash it here. I, I I'm still see that more secure here so it's fine anyway it, it adds a bit of counterweight to the to the uh, blade or opposite to blade because the point of balance is as we might see somewhere here so about one and a half inch of the cutting edge of the draw knife so somewhere here there is a point of balance so uh, I, as I said, okay, do I want it to keep it there so the point of balance is there as I wanted? No, to be honest, I don't know. I didn't care about that because this is th this one was blade heavy, and it, now it's it's more workable because I removed some some steel from it, and to be honest, the the G10 is quite heavy. Uh, I could make and then bow uh, then buy. I mean uh, the. The handle scales thicker than heavier, then then the balance will go f uh, more to towards the to the handle. But I got experience with this thickness. This is six point four millimeters, so almost a quarter of an inch, I believe. Uh, so I got uh, this one, so six and a half, let's say six and a half and three point two millimeters, which is thickness of the machete about. So we got six four, six four, twelve eight, plus point two. So we got thirteen plus three. So we got about 16 millimeters of, of thickness, 16 millimeters, which is over, over uh, a half of an inch. Uh, forget it, I, I didn't measure it, it doesn't matter. For me, it was important if it's comfortable for me, because that one, the original, was kind of bulky and um, slippy. If I want to use the original, I probably use the, uh, some kind of tape, which I normally use for many things, Use a tape and then, then it will be fine. But it becomes even more bulky. Now this is absolutely fine, and thanks to that, I you see that you know if I will do something on this machete, okay, I'll, I will play with some details. You know, with these these scratches. You know, I screwed a little bit this this corner here. This one was alright. You know, this one you know, is more like fluent. You know, there is a kind of step here. But I don't care because it works. It's it's very sharp actually, uh, so it, it works. So if I will play with that, so I can play for design or you know, one of these things. But I'm user, you know. If if I remember that the machete came, what is it's just piece of steel. That's it. So I made a, I made a usable work, working tool for it, and I don't need uh, that shiny stuff. So that will be only thing. So why I say that, uh, I can do it. I can do this one better. I mean, for design, definitely I can play to do some gluing there, and you know that. But I don't want it, and because I used uh, hard, hard coarse, hard coarse sandpaper, I believe so. The the, the hard one, uh, and I I sanded it. I think the, the second one, it makes some kind of texture on it. You might see it on the green side, not not on the on the on the black black one. So this is the, the, the see the shiny around the, the female screws. These are this is the, like original because I couldn't sand it before. Uh, so and it's more grippy. That's what I say because when I when I bought that the original the blocks of G10 were slip too. 
but after the sanding, yeah, it's fine. It's really, it's really fine. It's, it's, it's all right. You, you, you feel that smooth texture, which just allows you not to, not to move or when it moves, you feel that. Uh, that so and that that's for me the good that was the goal for me so that, that, that's what i want uh how about the saw i kept it there i keep it there sorry i kept it there it is there so please so i kept it there because i want of course because i said that and in the use video you're gonna see how this one works it works ex as i expected so it's not this is not a super super saw so you won't probably um, excuse me you, you won't probably, you don't want, sorry, to, to go to saw through, uh, through some branch. This is made for notching and for that it's absolutely fine. Especially if you got the green stuff, if you got the wet, I mean the fresh stuff, fresh, fresh wood, then it, it will probably grab the, the, especially thanks to the coating. You might see the line of the, when I, when I cut with it, see the line after that so you can go about one and a half inch deep i would say pretty well and then if you really try hard you can go deeper but for the notching you you don't need it so this is not uh, that that saw bag you really need i got uh, my uh, the silky i got another one now 24 inches 24 centimeters blade so it's a great combo with this by the way this way this one weighs uh 400 480 grams or 16.99 ounces now is this one so i don't know what what was the weight before i don't care really much about this it it must be theoretically lighter than before because the the removing of these this one as, as you might see was was in this way and that so this one was the steel this one what i removed this one where i removed this one what i removed so it must be it must be lighter than it was before, but it doesn't matter because it may be 20 grams, something like that. So I'm fine. So this one was pretty much easy. This one too. The question for me was what what tip shall I keep there? So you see the line of see the line here, which I said, okay, I might I'll do it a click point as I normally do. And I said, okay, maybe I'll keep the Keep the harpoon style. Why? Because it reinforces the tip, and uh, I will use, use the let's call it hawk, even if it's not like hawk, hawk in the way. But you might take a lift, let's say, pot out of the out of the uh, fire. So use it for this one. You can use it theoretically. It it, it works in this way. If you go the ferro rod and you, you use it in this way, so you go the corner here, so it it will. It will sparks probably more than normally because it, it grabs the material from like more sides, more angles. So for faster fire starting, it might be better, but it's not the, it, it wasn't meant to be really for, for this purpose. Okay, yeah, it, it, it could be all right for it. Then um, if you if you need to, let's say you could, uh, you could lashing some kind of rope and it's a bit higher than you can grab you can use it still this one in some way if you if you go the, the angle or if you go through bush or something like you want to move branch thin branch uh out of your way and you don't want to chop it that's important of course so you can grab it here and move it simply there it's just another thing the the more important thing is you can baton here on the on the spot more close to this why it's full thickness and flat so if you baton here it's more safe for your batoning stick even i i do not care that much about it you might see my my video about the saw back and batoning because so many people say oh it will destroy your batoning stick okay who cares i don't want to you know pass to my uh, to my kids the, the batoning stick i simply if i destroy it i'll make another one right so that's not really big goal but for the let's say for a camp i'm i'm, I'm camp, usually camp overnights it's really uh, our trips we do in in uh, in uh, some highlands we've got here we don't stay on one place for weeks we usually set a camp for a night then we go so that if i take one stick use it for 
these batonics and then I throw it, maybe I burn it or whatever. So no, not a problem for me, but here it's safe. This is safe. And uh, this one, the drawer knife got about four inches. It used to, uh, I, I mentioned that it will be, it will be uh, shorter, but then I screwed a couple of times this, this, this hook, because when I grounded that, it becomes still simply. So I, I moved that and now it's four inches. It's four inches, uh, 10 centimeters about. So I'm fine with that pretty much. It should be somewhere, somewhere like this one. So I've learned m m many, many things on, on this machine, on this project. But for this one, come back to this. The last thing is you can grab it here when you use the, now it's important four inches uh, drawback, draw, draw knife, sorry, draw knife. You can grab it here and pull it. And I try it and it's absolutely fine because you rest your, your pinky there on the thickest spot here, you won't slide off because you got nice grab here. And I, I'm talking without gloves. And then of course you, you, you go, you cover the teeth here, but there is no big problem because you, you can do the tension mostly with these two fingers. So these are just covered around. I don't touch the, the saw back here. Important are these two fingers. So I can do it and I try it and it's absolutely fine. So it's all right. But anyway, I can use the gloves. I can cover, I can cover that, that part of that and I'm absolutely fine. But these were two main reasons. So use it as a hook and use it for batoning and for drawing knife. So do, do use it this way. This is why I keep it there. This edge is there because it's not really sharp but there is a sharp, some kind of sharpness, but the angle is that it's, it's thicker, so I can chop some wires and these things, and I don't want, to, where, where I simply don't want to sacrifice my, my real edge. So this is made for it to be a little, little bit abused. The problem here on this one is the, the hardness. The 52 to 55, let's say 4, 54, uh, it's too soft, so you really have to be careful what you are chopping with because you can probably do maybe do some another damage on this blade faster than let's say on the on the uh, tops machete because it's it's better tempered probably and better hardened tempered I mean for the springness because as I said I don't know if this one is differentially heat treated so 52 here and 55 here I don't know I don't know so I didn't find it I'll try so the the hard, hardest part was this one of course for me I never did this one I just you know fixed that on the on the tracker so I've learned before that uh, how to sharpen those but this is different story to do it that that was the different story so it was sometimes uh pain pain in ass but but it's, it, it was all right finally i finished that uh, i've learned many things so it's not perfect you see that i got the scratches here but but uh long time i think um you know i, I was thinking that uh, how i did how do, that's why i, I didn't do the, the project that, that, that fast i said okay i bought the, i bought the, the g10 handles and there's a, the, so many things so i I did the shape of the handle, but that was the easiest what I can do. Then I said, okay, and then go for the blade. And that, then, then it starts the problem. You know, the, this one is rounded and is meant to be as a, as a let's say, choil. See that there is a kind of a little choil to, to make a space between my index and the real edge. So I can grab it here. It's rounded. This is rounded. And it's made for my hand. So that's why. So you, you're gonna see where the first teeth starts. Start, sorry. So this one, so I can do it in this way. This one scrapes perfectly. This is it is absolutely fine. When you grab it, this one it, it has a power. You can move it here, and it's it's really secure for that. So to prolong it one inch longer, you would long one inch longer reach. This is, by the way, still the 12 inches, so th about 30 centimeters about. Uh, it's probably shorter because I removed some piece of, you know, when I did this one, this one was probably longer, about five millimeters, so really, really nothing. 
The one from the hardest part was how to think because my experience from that uh, working on the TOPS machine is so it is hard to drill these hardened stuff. I destroyed so many drill heads, so many, uh, yeah, so, so many drill heads. That's what I, but I spent long time, very long time to, to, to drill through on those. So I said, I don't want to drill something here. So everything I want to use, what is there? So it, it takes me time then, but then I realized, oh, well, I can do it in this way. So I used, because I couldn't find, it was very hard to find in these days something, some material. So I use the standard screws. And as you, as you can see, I sink them into the material. And this is the safest and the, the best way for me uh, how to fix them. And then I, I, I hammered them and you made them simply rivets. So now it's it's secure, it's nice, and and I still can remove it, that's important. I can file it off and simply lose it from the other side and I can remove it, that's that's important. That was one from my, my goals because if I try to take some, I don't know, so rounded steel, I don't know how you say that, just put it through and then make them, make them or change them or turn them into the, into the rivets, that will be really fine, but then it will be harder to remove it. It will be not that hard, but this is this is more comfortable simply to do it in this way. I can still, if, if, I, if I do, if I file off these uh, riveting, I would say, then I can unscrew it and use these female screws again. So that's, that's absolutely fine. So I'm really happy with that, how, how this one works. And uh, uh, the secondary convex, as you as you're gonna see on that on that in use video, it works perfectly. This shape, I mean, this one really, it's it's interesting. When you got the machete, which which has the standard edge go going to 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 here, it's generally the same. But when you chop, this one give you this one gives you. Uh, Kind of feeling like you're holding an axe, so something like you got something in forward, so you, you work this one, no, not on this, but on this one. I don't know, it's just, just feeling, but, but it works because you feel or you see the distance between this and this, and even more you are here because the sweet spot is somewhere here about, so when you, when you chop with this, it's like, it, it, it can, I don't know, it, it's, it's easy for more delicate like, task, like if you got a hatchet and you, you, you grab it more towards to the head and do these light chopping for, you know, you, do, 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 do. you don't want to split it and chop it, just you do the carving, you know, these the little things. So this is somehow the feeling on this one. I can't explain it, but it's the feeling. Otherwise, it should be the same like this one will be, because the angle, you, you got everything same here. You know, that's, this, this one doesn't matter, but somewhere here it, it works like like that so and of course the tip is more pronounced that one was comp completely dull so if you need from whatever reason you need it for pierce it's absolutely ready for it so for let's say for for self-defense if you need it it's uh, the, the shape is similar like kind of sort i don't know which one in history was that but but in this way and probably you won't lose you can you may use or you can use the lashing here but when i chop it really really hard with it i said well i don't need it it's absolutely absolutely safe so i'd like to have these um on every single of my shit something like that or it must be like a uh, ontario the bushcraft machete there is the big hawk like on that then that's absolutely fine that's even better than this one this is this is generally something like this uh, in better way what will be the, the problem on this when you redo uh, it, even if this one or the from the top point two three zero machine the, the you you're using what you have so i can't prolong it i can't to put some mass where the mass is not so what I want to say by this is, I like this one, but I would like it even more if that handle will be 
like let's say one inch longer by the way this is this is five inches so 12 and 12 and a half centimeters from from the start of the handle here to the to the end of the handle here i let this one here it's not just an accident i would say it is there uh, because i can use it if i need it if that will be in a sheath i can use it for ferro striking if i need it might be used for let's say glass breaking you need because simply steel and uh, it's it's pronged so it, it there is no problem it is there so that's why i said okay i'll keep it there it, it's fine for me and of course important maybe you, if you have to beat it and and stab it to use the pierce through something which i can't remember or so you can imagine now what i shall do with that because what was the goal but anyway it's flat so it won't slide when you when you when you hit it with your rounded stick let's say it won't hit your hands which i do uh, on the news video and it's absolutely fine especially with this because when you when you angle it and you use this one so it even stops here it won't go even off so it won't go on your fingers from either side this is this is absolutely great. So as I said, and tip is is ready. So it's it's even better as a combat machete, if I would say it in this way. So it's it's in general, it's absolutely great tool. So if, if there will be a longer handle, I would say same same length, same shape, everything is fine. So longer handle and no better material. 1095 is absolutely great. It could be 1085, I would say. But the, uh, the hardness, if that will be really, really 55, 55 is all right, or tempered, as I said, 50, 52, the spine and 55, the edge side. That will be these things so longer and uh, really better, better tempering, better hardening for it. That will be absolutely great. And I don't need to change anything on that. that, that this is really great. So I'm, I'm happy, guys. I've learned many, many things, as I said when i when i did the, the the work with that it was the hardest project i did because i did simply change almost everything on this tool i bought some some new new tools for me and these things to get this one so i only to buy these two uh, g10 scales uh, doubled the price i'm not talking about the other things and of course the time spent on any of these things so of course, when you, it will be like this one, uh, the, the price will be much more, much more bigger. Of course, if somebody will ma manufacture it, we'll say that, and if that will be in, let's say, in triple price because they manufacture it, so they, they don't spend, on, they put the machinery in these things, and it will be, as I said, prolonged, and the better tempering and hardening these things, I'm going to buy this one because as it serves now, as it serves now, it's absolutely fine. I'm really, I'm really surprised. I'm happy with the, the hook or the hook or teeth works nice. The, the, because I did completely, I completely regrind this one. This one was flat spot, a flat spot, as you might see, because the grinding, you see the length of the real grinding. So imagine how this one came here. So I did this one completely. And even with the 52, uh, up to 55 HRC, it's not hard. But when you don't 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 have the skill, you don't have the um, lots of the, the the tools and even machineries and these things. So you do everything by hand or by hand tool and machines and all these things to re to make a completely functional grind. Uh, it was it was kind of harder for me uh, to get it properly to to put some 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 grind and some edge. That was fine. That was relatively easy. But I say, always say, I am. I, I don't like it. Something. It's kind of kind of dull. It, even it slice or cuts. I don't. I want. I want it better. So then, then I worked on it, and it works. It works. Nice. Now it works like sharp knife. Really, when you when you want to carve, let's say I said four inches, so you can really do sharper sharper things. You can you can you can. Uh, carve with it if you take the, in, in mind that point of balance is somewhere here when you slice then all the way 
want to go off. So you have to reposition the shin and it could be tired. It, it makes you tired after after times, but but as a, as a knife edge now, it's absolutely great. Anyway, as I said, it could be better, definitely, but I'm glad I learned many, many things on this, on this uh, project. And probably this is one from, from go to Mercedes now for me, because there is everything I need as a tool. But as I said, from the, let's say, late April, maybe May, to September, October, that's it. Because when everything go dry and these things, and I might need some heavy stuff, heavy, heavy work, I mean, the thicker pieces of wood, this one maybe will be not the best tool for these things. Thank you very much. Have a nice time. Bye.